All right, here we have some old postage stamps from Posca. Starting with this one here. Kind of looks like that was one of them that, you know, they had to cut out. Back in the days where they used to get a sheet and they had to cut them out as people wanted them. So that would put it pretty old. Maybe even considered rare. And this one is one that was already on an envelope. If you look at the back side and everything. Very thin, thin. But it seemed like it was already part of an envelope. You know, some of those that are pre-stamped. Okay, and we have this beautiful one. Very nice. Love it. It's pretty. Okay, and then this one here. And these two, they're together. Both 40s. In pink. They did come in different colors. Some were just black and white. This one, kind of pink tint to it. And this one here, the 150. Look at the ships. It's a lot going on. Kind of see like the big castle in the back, little houses in front, and the ships in the water. It's trying to shove everything into a picture, into a stamp. So there's a lot to really look at this one. Okay, then we have this one. That's a 10. Ah. This one. This one I don't see too often. So this may be considered a rare one. Not so many of them hanging around. Okay, then we have this one here. And this one. Beautiful sail on that chap. Well, this one here used to be a 50. Then it got re-stamped. Recycled, reused. Usually when you see that, it indicates wartime. Because they had to make do with what they had. Now this one here. If you notice, 1732 to 1932. This one would be considered a rare one. here. Planes are just flying overhead in an area view. You have a 4 and then you have a 340. And you got this nice long one here. That is pretty special. And then one space one. They got themselves a space one too. Okay, and a couple of more of those planes with a little bit of an area view. 150 and a 10. Okay, so probably the rare one out of this one will be this one right here. This one, you know, because it has Washington in there as a center. I think this might be one of the rare ones, the important ones. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the video with other stamp collectors. Let them see what there is, or those who just enjoy looking at stamps from other countries. See how things used to be? 
see who's on the stamps. Then it gives them something to look look up on the internet and see why they ended up on the stamp. Oh my, oh I got some beautiful little birdies here. I think if I make the fast move, they'll fly off. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they got beautiful yellow, yellow, yellow underneath their chins. And the belly's still kind of white with just a little bit of yellow. But under the chin, it's yellow, yellow, pretty beautiful birds. All right, stay tuned for more, okay? Bye-bye.